In this video, we'll be showing you how to import media into a Scalar book. There are several ways to import media objects in Scalar. We'll demonstrate how to import video and descriptive metadata from YouTube, upload images from your computer, and import media from a specific URL. So let's talk about adding media to our book. I wouldn't be a librarian if I didn't mention copyright at the beginning of a tutorial on importing media. Um, you want to be sure that you're legally able to use any of the materials that you pull into your Scalar book. And actually, pulling materials in is probably not the most useful way to phrase um, getting media into your Scalar book. Um, and that's because what you're really doing, you're, you're not moving it from the server where it lives right now. Um, you're not actually moving it um, to your own server. All you're really doing is kind of pointing at it and telling Scalar to display it. So that's a subtle distinction, and it's one that you probably need never think of again. But it does, um, it does impact copyright a little bit. Um, it does play in your favor a little bit when it comes to copyright, because you're not actually housing those images or the, those media objects. So that's just something to keep in mind. You still want to be a responsible um, media user. So I would not say um, bring over a full length feature film um, from 2012 that you found on YouTube. Just want to be careful about things like that. Okay, um, so I'm going to now demo um, actually adding media to your library. So um, you're going to go to the same place that you would if you were creating a new page. So you're here in the content tab of your dashboard and you want to scroll down to the bottom and you'll notice that you have this import media option here, this button. So let's click that and it will bring up this menu. And there are um, three different categories here, which are not immediately obvious. It took me a second to figure out that they were categories because they're not really visually bolded. There are these grayed out options. So affiliated archives, other archives, and files URLs. Affiliated archives are just archives that Scalar has built some kind of relationship with. Um, so um, the, they uh, know that Scalar um, wants to use their content and they have kind of helped them build bridges in between these archives and Scalar, essentially, um, so that you can really easily get content from these different archives and bring it in. Um, then these are other archives. So these are just places that have policies that allow for the reuse of all or some of their content, um, depending on the archive. Um, and Scalar just thought, you know, it might be helpful to you as users of Scalar to be able to really easily bring things in from these sites because they're commonly used and they have a lot of different kinds of media on them. And then you have these two options down here that are, um, you can kind of think of as everything else, essentially. So um, upload file and you can use an internet URL to directly bring in media objects. So um, this would be an answer to your question, Irene. Um, you can use either one of these options. These are um, good workarounds also if one of these isn't working. And so I will kind of you know, warn you that um, some of these archives up here, um, the bridges, kind of like physical bridges, um, need maintenance over time. Um, and Scalar, um, you may know by now, is kind of run by academics. So it's not always the case that maintaining these bridges um, are their first priority. And every now and then you'll get an error message. Um, if you use one of them. If that happens, a good workaround is to use these direct upload options or the internet URL. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, that said, even though we're going to focus on these direct upload options today, I am just going to demo what it's like to bring in one from YouTube um, so that you can see what I mean by a bridge um, and so that you can see the kind of metadata that this brings in as well. So I'm gonna, you can see I've um, used lots of different, I've taught this workshop um, with a Halloween theme several different times. <laughs> so um, let's see, I'm gonna do Frankenstein audiobook, for example. Okay, and you can bring in multiple things at the same time. I'm just gonna click this one. And so you can see that it's actually searching YouTube without you having to leave Scalar. So that's what I mean by a bridge. Import selected. And you can see now that it's trying to bring in all of this metadata. So it's just gonna bring in whatever um, 
is at the source location. So if there's good metadata at the source location, it'll bring that in. If there's bad metadata um, that's not helpfully descriptive, it will bring that in. So it does give you the option to actually edit any of this before you bring it in. You can also add additional metadata if you want to add some more descriptive information about your object. I'm just gonna continue. And you should get a kind of green banner message that it's successfully imported. Okay, so that's the YouTube importer. It's just an example of one of the bridges that Scalar offers. Let's go back into the dashboard and the content tab. And let's take a look at how that differs from one of these options. So we'll do upload file first. And this is a good option if you have some um, media objects downloaded to your computer already. Um, it's important to know where they are so that you know where to point it. Um, so I'm gonna do Morgan Le Fay, which is a famous witch, I believe. And um, you probably don't need to mess with a lot of this stuff in the middle. You know, it gives you lots of options. So if you wanted to uh, replace a media file with this, you could. I'm not gonna do any of that. All I really need to do is choose the file. And I'm gonna go to my desktop and workshop images, and there it is. And upload. Sometimes it takes a minute depending on how large your file is. And there it is. <clears throat> so if I go back to my dashboard, and again, you know, you, you've probably seen me do this several times now, but it's this wrench over here. That's also covered in the dashboard videos. Back to content. And if I go to media now, I just wanna show you that these are appearing here. You can see I have my Frankenstein audiobook. I also have Morgan Le Fay here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna show you one last way of importing media here, and that's the one that I actually use the most often, which is the last option on the menu, internet URL. The really important thing to note here is that um, when you're bringing in a URL, you wanna make sure that the URL is directly to the object that you want to bring in, and not say to an information with um, metadata, uh, an information page with metadata on it. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, now, so let's say I wanted to bring in this, um, this media object here, which I found on the Internet Archive. It's kind of spooky. Um, if I used this page with all of this information on it, publication date, that kind of stuff, um, Scalar will bring in essentially a screenshot of this entire page. And that's not actually what I want to do. So I don't want to use this URL up here. I want to use this URL. Um, let me move this. So um, the way that you know that you're in the right spot is if you have this um, file extension um, for the media object. So this is a JPEG file and I have .jpg right here. So I know that this is a good URL to use for import. So I'm just gonna copy my URL and bring it over into the importer. You can give it a description if you'd like, but you're not, you're not required to. And then just save and view. And again, sometimes it takes a minute, I think, especially since I'm screen sharing. There we go. And there's my media object, which again, I can find in the dashboard under content and media.